actually doing a 10,000 mile review, uh, if I can remember how to show you my miles, because I never check it. In fact, I didn't even watch it turn to 10,000 because I was too busy riding and enjoying it. I am now at 10,104 miles, and I have to say I love this bike possibly even more than I did the day I bought it. So just to kind of give you a little story as to how I ended up with it, my first bike was a Ninja 650, which was an amazing starter bike for me. It gave me room to grow and I learned a lot in the two years I owned it. But I outgrew it. I was ready for something a bit more exciting, a little more peppy. So I actually had my eye on the Ninja, the 636. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably, well back in that time, I've had this bike now two years. but. Two years ago, I used to talk all the time about this 636 I was going to get, and it was like the uh, MotoGP decals that I was completely obsessed with, and you know, I was a very loyal cow Cowie girl. I still have my Cowie girl sweatshirt, because I'll always be a Cowie girl, but I'm also a Suzuki girl now, so I was obsessed with that bike, convinced I was going to get it. One day Chris asked me if I would like to ride his bike. It was a day I was super frustrated trying to figure out how to wheelie my 650 and not doing a good job so I was just kind of not so happy at the time and he offered me to ride this beautiful machine and I fell in love with it and I honestly can say anybody that rides this bike is really likely to do the same so it's essentially like spending the amount you would on a 600 except it's already got the modded out power it's it's just amazing I don't know <laughs> part of it was the look of it ah, we're going Part of it was the look of it I completely fell in love with. I've never fallen in love with the headlight. I will always prefer the dual headlights, but it was a small price to pay to have the bike of my dreams. It ergonomics, it fits me amazing. I am five five and a half because that half inch counts. And I don't have any issue with being able to flat foot. It's comfortable. I have back issues, but I never have back pain on it, which I did have on the 650 because of the more upright bar positioning. I was like pressing on it to try to be able to corner. I was fighting the bike. And on this bike, it's really just lean and flow. Like you can really get into a rhythm with it. And it's a joy to ride wherever I am. Uh, I've had absolutely no issues mechanically, knock on wood, let's pretend like I'm knocking on it. It's just been an incredible bike. It's been a good two years, 10,000 miles. Don't give me crap. That's, that's all I get to ride is on the weekends and not even every weekend. So yeah, it's not, not a whole lot of miles for two years worth of riding, but every single mile has counted. And hey, I'm keeping the value up, right? <laughs> Uh, I'm keeping it newer longer, so I have absolutely no regrets buying this bike. I never looked back, and if you are considering a similar bike or, or weighing out your options and this is one of them, I absolutely recommend that you ride it, because that's when your heart is just, you're going to be sold. And uh, yeah, I'm not cornering very well, so please, please excuse that. I've, I've been off the bike for a little bit and I'm just um, not the greatest vlogger so can't really do the talking and the riding at optimal performance quite yet. Maybe I'll get there with some experience but um, yeah I get to take it to the track here soon. I don't know hopefully in the next couple of months I'll be able to make that happen and I'm really looking forward to it and now he is too. So. That's about it. Thanks for listening to my story and uh, get yourself your own beautiful 750 and have all of your riding dreams come true. <laughs>
Peace out and ride safe.